Hello student, today we talk about the major histocompatibility complex from your immunology chapter number 4. So basically, major histocompatibility complex is a type of molecule which is present on the cell receptor. Basically, these molecules are transcribed by the clusters of genes found in all mammals. Basically, these molecules formed by the genes which is present in the mammals and basically this MHC molecule that is major histocompatibility complex molecule is essential for the discrimination of self and non-self molecules because basically we know that the antigen are the foreign material and foreign molecules so we have an immune system have a sense to recognize these foreign molecules for the elimination of the antigen from the body so basically these MSC molecules represent the antigen towards the immune system so that these molecules can be called as antigen presenting structure so these MSC molecules present the antigen towards the antibody so they may be show the peptides like uh, self peptides or non self peptide so that it recognize the self and non self peptides and recognize them and direct towards the immune system basically these MSC molecules part in both humoral and cell mediated immunity for the recognition of antigen basically they act like an antigen presenting structure same as it as it is APC cells APC cells are the cells which presenting the antigen towards the immune system same as it is MSC molecules represent the cells towards the immune system these are the polymorphic in structure so they showing the various and diverse genetical structures which is present on the cell membrane which is mainly the glycoprotein so it is crossover rate is very low about 0.5 percent and it's early and the genes of this msc molecule so the show the alleles of codomain dominantly expressed so both the alleles present in the gene which is essential for the synthesis of the MSC molecule showing the codominance in the expression so the prominence binding to the peptides so MSC molecules bind to the peptide of the antigen or the self protein to recognize the self and non self molecule basically this MSC molecule synthesis by the chromosome number 6 in the human being which is referred as a HLA molecule that is human leukocyte antigen complex and in mice it is about chromosome 17 and referred as a S2 complex basically this MSC molecules differentiated into two classes that is first one it, that is MSC 1 class 1 and MSC second class first of all let's see the MSC class 1 molecules so basically the, in, in the structure you can see that this is the alpha 1 and alpha 2 structure this MSC encoded alpha chains about 43 kilo Dalton we know that the kilo Dalton is a scale for measuring the protein so MSC encoded alpha chains is about 43 kilo Dalton and it is anchored to this cell membrane so in this figure you can see that this is the transmembrane region of the T cell basically it containing the three structure of alpha that is alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 and B2 microglobin so basically this alpha 1 and alpha 2 forming the peptide binding cleft this peptide binding cleft is essential for the binding of antigen to the MSC molecules for the recognition and this peptide antigen in group formed by the pairs of alpha helical on the floor of the antiparallel B strand so this B strand is antiparallel towards the alpha chain and at the pair it at the pair of the alpha helix it form the peptide antigen group in which the peptides of antigen are bind to the MHC molecule beta 2 microglobin it is about 12 kilo Dalton non MHC molecule encoded non transmembrane non covalently bound to the alpha chain but it is present in the MHC class molecule so alpha 3 highly conserved among the MHC 1 molecule interact with the CD8 plus and T cytotoxic cell basically we know that CD8 is a type of T cytotoxic cell Basically, this MSC class 1 molecules represent the antigen towards the T cytotoxic cell. 
T cytotoxic cell whenever recognize the antigen it synthesize some cytokines and chemokines release the chemokines and cytokines towards the antigen for the elimination of antigen to from the body so this alpha 3 anchored in the transmembrane of T cytotoxic cell so alpha 3 domain and beta 2 microglobin have structural and amino acid amino acid sequence homology with immunoglobin C domain that is Ig gene super family so this having the structural sequence homology with the immunoglobin so MSC class 1 having the alpha 3 segment of the MSC first serve as a binding site for the CD8 so in this figure you can see that this alpha 1 and alpha 2 structure binds to the antigen and this alpha 3 structure bind to the T cell so this alpha structure alpha 3 segment bind toward the site CD8 that is T cell and it whenever the alpha 1 and alpha 2 bind to the peptide of antigen it recognize the foreign material or self material and trigger the formation of cytokines and chemokines by joining the T cell receptor B2 microglobin interact with the alpha 3 non covalently and class 1 MSC is found in almost all nucleated cell basically class 1 MSC molecule found in the all nucleated cell present in the immune system also it present the endogenous antigen so let's see the structure of the MHC class 1 molecule. So in this figure you can see that the alpha chain form a platform of 8 standard anti-parallel beta pleated shades supporting 2 parallel strands of alpha helix. So in this figure you can see that this is the this pink shape. It is a 2 parallel strands of alpha helix and these are the 8 anti-parallel beta shades supporting chains forming the platform for the beta pleated cells and they form the cleft can bind the peptide of 8 to 10 amino acid in a flexible extended conformation so this structure can change the their structure by for the binding of the antigen and change its size and shape according to the antigen binding so the properties of the inner face of helix and the floor of the cleft determine which peptide bind to the msc molecule so the properties of this helix and the floor that means the flexibility of this structure depend on the peptide which bind to the msc molecule it may be self peptide or non self peptide that is foreign peptide so these peptides can determine the flexibility of this class 1 msc molecules second one second structure that is class msc class second structure basically msc MHC class that is a major histocompatibility class second molecules encoded by the alpha chains of 34 kilo Dalton and beta chain of 39 kilo Dalton so the, this is the anti peptide binding site that is peptide binding cleft so in this figure you can see that this is the alpha 1 and this is the beta 1 this is the site where the peptide of antigen is bind also alpha and beta chains anchored in the cell membrane so in this figure you can see that this is the alpha 2 and this is the beta 2 which is anchored in the transmembrane of the cell so no beta 2 microglobin is present in the msc class second molecules in last msc first we see the beta and uh, beta Two microglobin is present but in MSC class second beta 2 microglobin is absent so peptide antigen in a group form from a pair of alpha helix on the floor of anti parallel beta strand so in this figure you can see that the anti parallel strands of B beta strands and alpha helix form the floor to bind to the peptide and the cell receptor mostly these MSC class 2nd molecules found in the APC presenting exogenous antigen. APC are the cells that is antigen presenting cells like macrophage, dendritic cells, NK cells. So these cells having possess the MSC class 2nd molecule on their receptor. Uh, mostly they showing the exogenous antigen that 
so alpha 2 and beta 2 domains have the structural and amino acid sequence homology with the immunoglobin c domain that is ig gene super family so mostly these alpha msc class second and msc class first showing the immunoglobin gene super family homology so in this figure you can see that the structure of the msc class 1 and msc class 2 so we know that the antigen binding site that is the peptide binding site peptide antigen binding site having the alpha in msc class 1 having the alpha 1 and alpha 2 so that this color is same so this both having the alpha domain for the joint binding of antigen but in msc class second the binding site of the antigen containing the one alpha 1 domain and second one beta 1 domain so this peptide is held in the cleft of non covalent host so basically this cleft is bind with strongly bind with the non covalent host for the binding of antigen peptide so this is the also the cleft geometry basically so in this figure you can see that this is the alpha chain and this is the alpha second chain and this is the beta 2 microglobin protein which is present in the msc1 class 1 molecule so basically this is the peptide of the antigen which is accommodated in the structure of msc class 1 molecule so this peptide of the 8 to 10 amino acid are presented towards the t cells by this msc class 1 molecule and in this way you can see that this is the alpha chain this is the beta chain and this is the peptide of the antigen which is accommodated about more than 13 amino acid so this representation of the antigen towards the um, immune cells doing by the mhc molecule that is major histocompatibility complex so the anchor re residue and t cell antigen receptor contact residue so basically we know that the the one structure of the msc molecules having the cleft for the joining of antigen and second one that is the it anchored in the t cell so that is the anchor residue the anchor residue the peptide residue that anchor in the antigenic peptide into the msc group called as the anchor residue so the msc class one slides between the alpha helix to reveal the peptide so this peptide in this figure you can see that this peptide present on the msc class 1 molecules and recognize the self and non-self and this residue then bind with the t cell antigen receptor cell and they recognize it is self or non-self and then they trigger the formation of cytokines and chemokines by the triggering the formation of t cytotoxic cell which eliminate the antigen from the body of organism so basically this msc molecule showing the flexibility for the binding site of antigen so in this figure you can see that the, this is alpha and alpha 1 and alpha 2 msc class 1 molecule so this and this is the foreign molecular peptide so this flexibility of msc molecule showing the depend on the peptide site so mostly the binding site that is flexible at an early and intracellular stage of maturation formed by the folding of msc molecule around the peptide so basically this flexibility depend on the structure of peptide which is secreted by the antigen because msc molecule function as a representer of the antigen towards the t cytotoxic cell so it allow the single type of msc molecule to bind many different peptide so this single molecule due to their flexibility this single molecule can bind msc molecule can bind the different kinds of peptide secreted by the organism cell body or antigen so another type that is this msc molecule showing the great affinity towards binding peptide with the high affinity and it is more stable form of the complex at the cell surface basically this msc molecules present in the on the self surface and form this stable complex so it export only molecules that have captured a peptide to the cell surface basically whenever the antigen bind to the cell receptor it bind to the antigen and showing the antigen peptide towards the cell surface and export these molecules towards the t cell receptor for the recognition and initiation of 
immune response so up uh, talking about the genetic map of msc that is the msc molecules gene present in the human being basically we know that the chromosome 6 containing the msc molecules and this msc molecules known as the human leukocyte antigen molecule so in human there are three msc class 1 alpha chain gene which is called as hla1 hla2b and hla c so there are also three pairs of msc class second alpha and beta chain gene so they call as HLA-DR, HLA-DP and HLA-DQ. So this is the genetic map of MSC which is present on the chromosome number 6 in the human being. So this is the genes of MSC locus. So basically we know that the chromosome number 6 in human represent the HLA molecules which is the molecules of MSC that is major histocompatibility molecules. And chromosome number 17 in mouse represent the S2 molecules in the genes which show the genes of the MSC locus. So another type of genes which represent in MSC these are the some examples of the MSC class genes. So MSC class 1B gene so encoding the MSC class 1 like proteins that associate with beta 2 microglobin so these are the HLA G so it bind to the CD94 and NK cell receptor which inhibit the NK attack of fetus and tumors so basically these HLA recognize which bind to the CD94 and this NK cell receptor we know that the NK cell is a natural killer cell and this HLA inhibit the attack of natural killer cell on the fetus and tumors because this MHC molecule having the capability to recognize the self and non-self molecules. So this HLA G is re usually important for the inhibition of NK attack on the self molecule. Then HLA E is bind to the conserved leader peptide from the HLA A, B, C, which interact with the CD94. So the HLA E also bind to the leader peptide of the HLA A, B, C, and it interact with the CD94. HLA F also uh, HLA F function is a uh, not known uh, not known until. So let's talk about the MSC class second gene. So it encoding the several antigen processing gene. So basically HLA, DM alpha and beta proteasome component LMP2 and 7 peptide transporter TAP1 and 2 HLA, DO alpha and DO B. So these are the many pseudo genes present on the chromosome 6 that is MSC molecule gene. So these genes, let's talk about the class, MSC class third gene that is in, which encoding for the complement protein. So this complement, this MSC class third gene recognize the complement protein which is secreted by the immune system against the antigen. And this is encoding the complement protein such as the C4A and C4B, C2 and the factor B tumors necrosis factor alpha and beta so this msc class third genes recognize these molecules which is secreted by the immune system also the immunologically irrelevant gene that is gene encoding the 21 hydro hydroxylase rna helicase case in the kinase heat shock protein 70 and slides so these other genes of msc molecules play a play a key role for the recognition of self and non-self molecules in the human being so MSC molecules showing the diversity in individual for the capability uh, to recognize the histocompatibility. So this in this figure you can see that this is the halotype 1 and halotype sorry haplotype 1 and haplotype 2 types of MSC molecules are shown. So this phylogeny showing the different kind showing the diversity in the msc molecules for the recognition of self and non-self molecules so this variant allele polymorphism and additional set of the variant allele on the second chromosome 
are initial for the diversity purpose. So MSC molecules are co-dominantly expressed two of which are the six type of the MSC molecule are expressed in the human being. So mostly the genes in the MSC are tightly linked and usually inherited in unit called as MSC haplotype. So basically these MSC molecules are inherited from uh, in the organ or sorry from parent to offspring so this diversity of msc molecules are is different in different individuals so this diversity and due to this diversity the transplantation process are also seen so the population need to express the variant of each type of msc molecule so the population showing the difference different variant or in types each type of msc molecule so population of micro because we know that the microorganism reproduces faster than the humans and mutation that change the msc binding antigen and msc molecules can only introduce to population after reproduction so the ability of microorganism to mutate in order to evade the msc molecules will always outpace counter invention measure that involve mutation in the msc and the number of types of msc molecules are limited in the human being because the different kinds of microorganism are present in the environment and this microorganism having the great ability of reproduction but because of the rate of reproduction is low in human being so that the msc variation are also low limited in the human being so the to counter attack of the super flexibility of pathogen variation of msc molecule is important for the antigen recognition because there are different kinds of antigen present in the environment and this antigen may cause the diseases different kinds of diseases in the body of organism so the diversity of msc molecules can represent the different kinds of antigen towards the immune system for their recognition and after the recognition of antigen body able to synthesize the specific type of antibody against those antigen so the variation in the diversity in the msc molecules is needed for the recognition of different kinds of antigen so the let's see the expression of msc expression when it increases and when it is low decrease so expression of msc molecules increase by the cytokines because cytokines trigger the msc expression for the recognition of antigen such as i ifn alpha and ifn beta ifn gamma and if sorry tnf so these cytokines increase the rate of expression of msc molecules also some transcription factors are also increase the rate of expression of msc molecules such as a transactivator rfx that is transactivator which increase the gene expression msc gene expression but some kinds of viruses such as the cmv hrv and ad12 decrease the msc expression that is the recognition of antigen can be decreased by the some kinds of viruses also the reduction of msc may allow the immune system invasion so this hla molecules versus transplantation so hla matching between the donor and recipient is essential because we know that the during transplantation the donor and recipient get grafted the diff donors organ organ in the body so because all individual having the different kinds of hla molecules and msc molecules they have to match these hla molecules in between the donor and recipient because hla and msc molecule represent the antigen and the organ which is grafted in the recipient can be without matching the hla matching then the mismatch can cause the chronic pathology in the allograft so that is transplantation because we know that the sometimes our body recognize this foreign organ which is grafted in the body and due to this recognition occur due to the hla and msc molecules this msc and hla molecules are responsible for the rec recognition of foreign material so the, after the foreign material protein recognition they due to this mismatch grafting 
it leads to the chronic pathology because it represents the these peptides towards the immune system adaptive immune system and adaptive immune system attack on the allograft that is the organ which is transplanted in the recipient so the immune system attack on this grafted transplanted organ so it is clear that the negative hla a2 recipient receiving an allograft expressing hla a2 will have much high risk in humoral rejection of the vascular endo so basically this grafting process of the organ can be rejected due to the mismatch of the HLA molecules. So up during transplantation we have to match these MSC and HLA molecules because these molecules having the capability to recognize the foreign and self peptide. So after the recognition of foreign peptide they can attack, they can stimulate the adaptive immune system for the attack on the organ of grafted. So the, there are differential distribution occur, MSC molecules occur in the different kinds of cells, they having the difference. So cell activation affect the level of MSC expression. So how the cell activate also affect the MSC expression. So the pattern of the expression reflect the function of MSC molecule. So class 1 is involved in the regulation of antiviral immune response. Basically MSC1 molecules recognize the viruses which get invented in our body system and this regulate the antiviral immune response against the anti antigen and class second involve in the regulation of cells of the immune system basically cl class second molecules regulate the cells of immune system such as the macrophage dendritic cell nk nk cells and the, their regulation of because they can be attack on the self protein so it regulate the cells of immune system so the unnucleated erythrocyte cannot support the virus replication hence no msc class 1 molecules present in the erythrocyte so some pathogen exploit this that is plasmodium species so because these msc molecules are present in the nucleated cell and erythrocyte doesn't carry the nucleus so that pathogen uh, some virus replication cannot support in the erythrocyte but we know that the plasmodium are present their life cycle form in the rbc so some pathogens having the exception in the msc molecule recognition so sub after so this ms molecule are useful for the recognition of antigen but some kinds of super antigens are also present in this environment and these bacterial super antigens act by the binding to the both the msc protein so these proteins bind to the msc molecule so in this figure you can see that this is the super antigen which is bind to the msc proteins and tcr that is t cell receptor this is the t cell and this is the antigen presenting cell mostly the msc molecules are present on the antigen presenting cells like macrophage and dendritic cells so the whenever the super antigen bind to the msc molecules a and tcr that is t cell receptor at position outside the normal binding site and the super antigen can interact with the large numbers of cells which stimulate the massive t cell activation cytokine release and the systemic inflammation so this super antigen can be trigger the action of large kind large number of cells like apc presenting cells and t cells where the t cells can be trigger the release of cytokines and chemokines which can initially form the systemic inflammation so that is the super antigen which is recognized by the msc molecules so in today's lecture we are talking about the HLA and histocompatibility molecules which are responsible for the recognition of antigen in the human body and represent this antigen towards the humoral and cell mediated immune system. So adaptive immune system are able to recognize the antigen by the MSC molecules. So that is for today. Thank you.